Hi, um, today I'm going to review um, the ISIS thesis, a study for decoding 870 uh, ancient Egyptian signs, volume 1 by Judy K. King. So that's the book. Okay, and it says about this book, um, the ISIS thesis decodes 870 signs in eight major Egyptian funerary texts, showing that the pharaoh's knowledge of science surpassed that of modern scientists. The primary goal of this hidden knowledge was to map the chemical map path by which the genetic heritage of the deceased was cloned into a species that could exist in the universe rather than being recycled back to Earth. So the research and evidence, um, there's eight bits. So uh, first it unveils uh, nature's core design imprinted on the universe. It supports string theory, uh, black hole theory, Einstein um, cosmological constant. Um, it supports posits a, a human afterlife in the quantum world of living particles. It shows that the Earth system operates like a quantum cell. It reconciles uh, science with religion. It endorses a unique cosmic vision of the human evolution. It explains the simple rules directing our complex universe. And it proves that ancient Egyptian Kometians gave birth to science. So the Isis thesis restores meaning to a long lost uh, science found in myth, religion, and psychology. So that's the book. And um, there's many, many um, chapters. So I'm just going to give you the, the head banner of each part. There's four parts to the book. Um, the first part is called What is Above? Okay, and the second part, What is Below? Uh, part three, the guided diffusion path to eternity, and part four, the fortress for unity. Um, part five, the many faces of a legacy. So, uh, uh, I've, when I first read this book, uh, just it sent goose pimples all over my arms. I really loved this book. It's brilliant, excellent read. Okay, the parts that I've highlighted. Um, this one is called the uh, Lambda Genesis, and it's on page three two seven for all those who've got the book as well. And it talks about dark energy, and that particularly, um, you know, aroused uh, my, uh, you know, interest in in this part of it. Um, it says dark energy is a hypothetical energy and pressure that uniformly fills space. Similarly, dark matter is matter suffused through space, exerting gravity by not emitting light. According to recent measurements of the cosmic microwave background and the Chandra observation that agree with the research of the Hubble Space Telescope, our universe consists of 4% visible matter, 21% cold dark matter and 75% dark energy. That's Harvard um, Smithsonian Center for astrophysics and that was in 2004 and both visible 4% and the dark matter 21% accounts for 25% of our universe critical density whereas dark matter accounts for 75% and causes the universe's expansion to accelerate this means that humans are part of the 4% composition of protons, neutrons and electrons in the universe. Um, so it says, the question arises, is the recombinant species, dark energy, scientists only understand some of the properties of dark matter. It is repulsive. It is a repulsive force responsible for the acceleration of the universe and it is related to the vacuum energy density. It is distributed homogeneously in the universe. And relative to this, Brian Green, um, 2004, um, explains that the cosmic evolution as follows. Early on, the energy of the universe was carried by the inflation field. And it goes on. I mean, this is, um, this is a very good book. I love it. Um, I'll read another little bit for you. Um, but when I it just started opening my eyes, like it says, um, this part I'm looking at is, um, this says, this is chapter eight, and it says the return of the eye or the holograph, and it says atoms thrown 
equals the first DNA and the foundation of forms, the ritual book, the whole writing, the words, the holograph. And it's, it's passage to the quantum holographic universe. And it's a lovely bit there. And the upside down world. And you know, like at school when they're teaching science that um, biology, we actually, everything's actually upside down where our eyes just with our brain turns everything the right way up. Okay, well, this bit is brilliant. Repeatedly, the funerary text states that a man must go, must not go down, upside down, into the realm of the dead. It must be that the deceased in the afterlife or the enfolded holographic-like order perceives our material space-time world as upside down in a fashion similar to Fortier's transformation. Just as we perceive the images on the human retina as upside down, Okay, so that's a lovely bit. That's um chapter chapter eight, okay? And I mean the whole book you know here it says as well, it says um it talks about uh the agreement with the rotation of our galaxy, it talks about the physical, the galactic north pole is actually the physical south pole with respect to the galactic rotation. It talks about Duat. Uh, it says Set is the god of confusion and disorder, whose disagreement with Osiris resulted in the imagery of the Eye of Horus, which the Egyptians, the Cometians might say, resulted in the upside down human creation. Okay, equipped with this new death vision, the deceased, a spectre in the spectral domain, perceives our world of matter as upside down. And we can conclude that. Holography, reverse transcription and vision may all be relative to the inversion imagery evidence in the text. Um, and then it says the upside world equals space time material world of living human beings and uh, material world. Our universe then may be holographic or an invertible reflection of the quantum world. Talks about atom in the quantum world as well as the sun god and the eye of the generation that now becomes the light from within that illuminates our three D material world or hologram. Oh, lovely! And he says, um, he says Robert Boval has confirmed that the alignment of the five. Of five of Egypt pyramids mirrors five of the seven stars of the Orion constellation. Apparently, the pharaohs understood that the whole is enfolded everywhere and that our brains are part of the universe, which is a holographic mode of operation decoded. So it says our universe above equals the hologram and the quantum world below, the holograph, is whole writing. I mean, it just goes on about the um, uh, pro karaoke yoti dna the eukaryoti dna the earth the humans the firstborn dna the sun star and the atom i mean it's yeah this is this is says so all in all the egyptian model seems to be seems reasonable and supports tenets of the string theory the black hole theory including hawking's radiation the micro, macro level earth spinning system represents the quantum cell where proteins fold to their native conformation in a folding funnel landscape like Kerr black hole dynamics wow The ISIS the thesis, a study of decoded 870 ancient Egyptian signs by Judy K. King. It's a must have. Get it. I mean, and if you've already read, read it, you know, you've done well, read it again, share it. It's a, it's a good book. It's deep. It's heavy. And, you know, it starts to... Um, it explains all that, you know, all this energy, and energy can never be destroyed. It can only be changed. So thank you for joining me to today, and um, I wish everyone out there health, wealth, prosperity, and, you know, long lives. Thank you.